Hi, I'm Gary Foreman, editor of thedollarstructure.com. With student loans now totaling over $1.3 trillion, more and more students are struggling to repay those loans after they graduate. So today on the Two Minute Dollar Stretcher, we'll look at the ways to reduce the cost of college. You can begin by earning as many college credits as possible while you're still in high school. AP classes and dual enrollment will give you that head start. Take CLEP exams to get credits without having to take the class once you're in college. Once you're applying for college, don't just take the student loans and run. College, many colleges will be perfectly happy to loan you as much money as you need. They're not concerned with how you're going to pay it back. Begin applying for aid early. Don't wait until you're accepted. Many of the best scholarships disappear soon. In search for a scholarship, there are many unique scholarships that go unclaimed each year. Spend some time looking for them. You don't need to be a Rhodes Scholar. Many are based on your interests or hobbies, not your grade point average. Consider a cooperative education program. That's a program where you work part-time and go to school part-time. You'll graduate with work experience, be much more likely to find a job, and have a much lower student loan balance to pay off. Stay local if you can. There are many good community colleges or local branches of your state university. By avoiding dorm expenses, you will do, reduce your annual cost significantly. If you do go to a two-year college, try to know where you'd like to transfer to ultimately and make sure which credits will transfer so you get the most bang for your buck. If you take all these steps, you won't be borrowing the $33,000 average, which is the, the most students owe when they graduate from college.